Hello, this is Chris from usgalaxyS3.com. This is probably my last video for tonight because it is back to my new job uh, tomorrow. Gotta get a few things done before the weekend is up, and it's already 10.30. Um, so, did the root video, did the recovery install on the Verizon Galaxy S3, and now it's time to flash the first ROM I've flashed to this device, and it's gonna be Synergy ROM. This is from a series of ROMs uh, that has gone on for a little bit now. I had a Synergy uh, ROM on my HTC Evo 3D that I had flashed to Cricut. So I've already gone uh, to the thread, read up a little bit about it, and I went ahead and downloaded the latest version they have, which is 1.3. Um, if you were coming from another version, this did require a full wipe. Often full wipes are required when you're changing ROMs or if there's a lot of changes uh, to your current uh, ROM. If you have little changes, oftentimes you're allowed to flash uh, just the new ROM over it and enough modifications haven't been made so that you can still uh, keep everything you have in the same condition and all your widgets and everything will pop back up. I've used Titanium Backup to back up what I have here, my application data, so I'll be able to restore those apps with my account information, uh, especially important to me when it comes to uh, email. So I've already got that ROM file on my device. I put it in a folder called Z Updates and that'll populate to the end of the list. Um, it was important in Clockwork Mod for me to do that just so I could scroll up and down with the volume, but in this we have uh, Team Win Recovery Project 2.2 installed, uh, so it would be good with the interactive uh, interface where we can use our touch screen. I'm going to go ahead and hit restart, and I'm actually going to capture the boot uh, volume up and home as soon as that LED goes away. And you can see that right there, the little blue script, so I know I'm going into my recovery. So this does have the ability to make a backup, and you can choose uh, what you're backing up. Let's go ahead and back up everything. We can set the backup name. And I'm going to call it stock, because that's exactly what it is. I'll hit go. We're not going to enable compression because it requires more time. I can use an internal storage or the external. I have 10 gigs available on my internal storage, so I'm going to go ahead and back up to there. And it says swipe to back up. This is the first time that I've used this version of uh, this recovery. I did use it briefly with my Evo 3D. I will be fast forwarding through this portion of the video because it is going to take up quite a bit of time. Alright, and now the backup process is complete. One thing I do for precautionary purposes is make sure that the battery life isn't really low before I'm doing this. Uh, now we're going to go to install. Alright, I'm going to have to look into this a little bit more, but if you see when I click use internal storage or use external SD, it really doesn't change anything right here. If I go up a level, I try to go to my SD card which would be the internal storage or actually an external SD card right there if I click SD card it actually doesn't show anything when there's act there is stuff there so I'm going to use my external SD card where I've placed the ROM and there it is Synergy ROM I'm going to go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. One thing I should have done right before this was a full wipe. 
I'm going to go ahead and see if after the install I can do that. Let me read over some of the features of this ROM. Uh, Ziggy slash Mr. X uh, will soon be making a kernel, it says. Uh, this is ICS 4.0.4 based on the Victor Romeo Lima Foxtrot 2 base. Fully DODX, zip line, busy box, super user, to bloated, Team Synergy's custom NAD scripts for insane performance, block Samsung's root checker service, uh, performance te tweaks for more speed, uh, be gone, ongoing Wi-Fi connection, notification, nobody likes you. And it says that won't take effect until after the first reboot. Custom notification bar toggles, Wi-Fi toggle also added. 4-in-1 uh, reboot menu, Sony Bravia engine. Wi-Fi tether works right out of the box, just tap and go. This refers to the app name Wi-Fi tether, not mobile hotspot, as the latter is a subscription VZW service. So it says home, uh, wipe dalv cache slash dalvik here. I'm going to go ahead and wipe cache slash dalvik. And let's go back. Home, wipe. And we'll do a, we'll just do a factory reset. And now let's go ahead and reboot into the system. Let's see, customized mounting scripts, i9300 boot animations with disabled sound. This first boot is going to take longer than normal because it's completely factory reset. Verizon's over the air updates block, synergize build prop, faster data speeds. Exchange policy disabled. Your IT policy may prohibit this. If so, they have a zip file in the recovery to get back to stock. Uh, fully integrated search. The newer Verizon GS3 base removed this because of a, another lawsuit from Apple. So they retain the old search. It has the ability to set Wi-Fi transmit power. You have to see the thread for that. And other main miscellaneous tweaks and enhancements. All right, English. I didn't have Vietnamese, and it did have an option for that. There's my phone number. Don't call me, or call me if you want. I am going to go ahead and skip this if possible. Alright, you can see our Wi-Fi notification uh, or toggle is up there, similar to uh, the other devices in the GS3 series. And this is what it has uh, stock. I'm going to go ahead and use Titanium Backup to restore a lot of my uh, old applications. And I will be trying this ROM out for the next few days at least. And I'll let you guys know what I think. So for more information on this ROM, please visit its XDA thread. And for more information in general about the US versions of the Galaxy S3, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.